Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And we have arrived to the finale of yeah. Masters of the Air. Ooh, it's been a wild ride so far. Yeah. I mean, I, we, we obviously know how the war ended, but we don't know what happened to any of to these the, guys. The, in, the individuals. Yeah, like yeah. we said, we've kept away from anything, so we have yeah. no idea. Yeah, it's funny when when the first two episodes aired. I remember at the time we 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 sort of said, oh, you know, they they were good, but it's not say like as like memorable or gut wrenching as Band, Band of Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, it was kind of like a slower. It. it was a slower start. Yeah, but boy, did it ever pick yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know, like just Austin Butler. You know, the act, oh, they've done the act, You know, yeah. the actor yeah. playing Crosby and yeah. and uh, you know Rosie and all of them. Everyone's everyone's been doing great. Yeah. So we last left off. Uh, you know, the Allies are pushing uh, east through Europe. Russians are pushing west. So the possibility of in the camp, they're either gonna execute them all or yeah. move them. Yeah. So like Buck and and all of the them were prepping to they were trying fight to... back. Yeah. So yeah. I feel Keeping like that's gonna be like in shape and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that'll be kind of the focus of the episode, or at least like whatever yeah. that whatever that's what happens of... to the yeah. And then with like Rosie, he still say like in in command or whatever of the three fiftieth. So him and Crosby mm -hmm. are maybe like like planning or involved because we're several months past uh d-day now yeah so just kind of the general just allied effort moving into europe mm -hmm. and just this, this morning you know mom and i were talking and just by by the nature of like when the show was made like it's coming out now you know like the majority of the world world war ii veterans have passed on yeah well, so when we get a, a i'm assuming they'll give us a good update yeah and oh, i want to hopefully see some pictures of the yeah. real guys and yeah. yeah like it's it's unfortunate that those men aren't yeah. weren't there to you know like give their their stories and mm -hmm. you know just kind of be there and for us to kind like of get, get to know them the brothers yeah. and the pacific yeah. and that so yeah. we'll hopefully kind of you know get like at least some kind of resolution to see like what what the guys did after the war you know yeah. kind of who survived yeah. and yeah and you know, see see them to the end, you know, because we've gotten to know them and love them, and yeah. you know, we can yeah. respect and honor their memories, everything they did for their country, for for us, for yeah. for the for, for the world, you know. Yeah, and, and this is just a small microcosm of all the all the the guys that were there, right? All the, yeah, all, all the, the different people, units all the men, and... women. I mean, you know, both grandpas you have, and then grandma, even she was in the army, not obviously you know, Combat, doing any yeah. of this, but she was in the army, and both grandpas, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get to it. When was the war over? When uh, that would have been, I believe, May was the German surrender. Oh, okay. And in the sky, the Eighth Air Force flew uncontested. Yeah, they said there weren't any more. We were the no more fighters. Of the air. There Ask. it is. Title drop. Yeah. Rocket, incoming! Oh, shit! Oh, damn! Ugh. <sighs> You gotta keep your head through all this, eh? That's the thing that gets me. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've they've trained, but still, you can't train real life. Yeah, nothing can substitute for real real world experience, you Look know. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. Follow it down. Yeah. Feels like they're floating. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. Oh shit. Jeez. It took him right out. Yeah. You got no crew. Well, the guy's in the back. Is that Rosie? No. Uh... I'm gonna take the ship, okay? Roger. Hmm. I'm gonna trust her. Yeah, Rosie. Okay, that's yeah. him, yeah. Rosie. Yeah, let him do it. Yes. We've seen him do crazy stuff before. We're not going no, down yeah, going. God. <gasps> oh, we'll the fire. oxygen. Oh. oh, no. Damn. Come on, come on, come on. Little uh... We'll lose Rosie, are we? Uh, I hope not. Oh man, Rosie. <laughs> We're gonna lose you now, are we? He's gonna get out. Man, the way they're filming this, eh? Oh. <laughs> go. You just wanna pull him out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, look at all the smoke and all the yeah. other wreckage yeah. and. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Jesus, that would hurt. And you broke something, eh? East. Okay. German and Russian lines. Oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. Of all the places to land, these are the Russians. Yep. Those are Germans. Yep. What do you do? What do you do? Have you got, like, a patch? American? Does that matter? Well, I mean, officially they were allies, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no,
Roosevelt Stalin! Roosevelt Stalin! Roosevelt Stalin! Roosevelt Stalin! Okay. Ooh. They didn't That's kill him. Harm, yeah. That's one thing. Ooh. <laughs> God damn it, 2300 hours. That's 30 minutes less. Go! Hustle! We got half an hour. We need to be at the front gate. We're marching. Go tell the guys. Go, go, go! Oh, here we go. Yeah. Burning and down the camp. Burn the camp down, yeah. Scum, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, here's our Tuskegee voice. Yep. Yeah, okay. Sure. Running with your tail between your legs, hey? Mm hmm. They're gonna lose some along the way in this. Yeah. 20 miles. Walking in that cold? Yeah. Frostbite's oh gonna be God. taking a few fingers and toes here. Yeah, and some of them don't have hats and... Wow. Whoa. He looks like he's dead already. Like a zombie, yeah. yeah. The hell are you doing here, son? We got wheels up in five and the equipment room's locked. Let's go, people! Look alive! Let's go! Just a mistake or something. Yeah. I guess you've never flown over Germany without a parachute, huh? This piece of shit did something, eh? Crosby, have you? Now, from here on out, you're gonna keep that equipment hut opened and manned until wheels are plus 30 minutes. Yes, Major? Yes, Major! Yes, Major! Yes, Major! <laughs> you're the man clean up. Let's go. That was very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, he's helping him. Wow. Huh. And he's Jewish, too. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Hmm. Why? To let the tank through or whatever? Yeah, it looks like there's some troops coming oh, in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, give it up, buddy. They're not even... Yeah. Right? They all look whipped. Mm-hmm. Kinderhund, Alter. Alles kaputt. Yep. Your dreams of yeah. glory and conquest, you know, reduced to ashes around you. Yeah. Look how young they are. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. That would be so cold. Oh, God. I mean, even if you have proper covering, it's freezing cold. Never mind, these guys didn't have half of what they needed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like, winter's here. Like, I, I get, like, my fingers get cold yeah. and I'm wearing gloves wearing and gloves. a jacket and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know. That's not, not exactly how we thought, is it? Mm-hmm. You know, I really did believe that if there was only two B-17s left, you and me flying. Mm hmm Last few years would have been a lot rougher without you, John. Yeah. Sam. I wonder where they're taking them. Nuremberg. Oh no. Nuremberg. Oh. Oh no. I'll never. No, poor guy. I mean, him being Jewish, yeah. I understand his fear. You know, yeah. it could be anything. Where the hell are? Oh. It's another camp, eh? Hey? Mm-hmm. Nuremberg. Oh. It's now like 13. Oh, yeah. Means... Gail! Oh! Gail oh! Clevin. Jesus, I'm big. George! Oh! Uh -huh. Long way from home. Oh, my God. Hey, this is George Neethammer. John! Only guy I've ever met knows more about baseball than you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Some friendly faces, you know. Yeah, give us the lowdown here. Okay, we're back with the Russians and stuff. He warns you that the road is going to be very dangerous. Well, something, you know. Possibly yeah. via Tehran. Tehran. Jesus. <laughs> like, do you have a phone? I want to phone my people. Do you mind if I um, if I stretch my legs? That way, that way. Sure. You want to? Not concentration camps, is it? 
No, the Russians didn't do that. No, but they're walking by. Oh. No, what? these these are people like displaced by the war. Oh, I see. Okay. So this would be a. Unless they've recently liberated a concentration camp. It is, isn't it? Because they're in Poland. Oh fuck! It is. Bet you that's what this is. Yeah. Because I think the Russians were like the first ones to, like, uncover the camps, oh, like in, the in, camps. Like, in Eastern okay, Europe. Okay, which is like, yeah. So like Czechoslovakia, Poland. Yeah. yeah. And Rosie's Jewish too, so. Oh right. <sighs> It'll go in. Well, they wrote Jewish, right? In Hebrew? Judge for life. We'll judge for life. Men menorahs and... Yeah. We found many of these camps. Everyone's already dead and burned before we arrived. There's, there's more of them? Yes. Our comrades found even bigger camps than these. They were built for killing people, many people at the time. Poles, Russians, mostly Jews. At least they're helping to me. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it while you can, America and Russia being allies. Yeah, right, eh? <laughs> yeah. That's the only time those things happen, right? Is when we have to reunite against something else in the something world. Something worse, yeah. Yeah. Germans, uh, they ordered him to fill in the ditch. Somewhere in there, his wife, his Aww. daughter, his grandchildren. Where will, I, where will he go? <sighs> Palestine. Game God. God hear me if I guess. He says if God exists, he has yeah. forgotten him. How you can go through this and not and still think there's a God. Mm-hmm. And I thought I heard the old man say Palestine at one point. That's what I thought I heard him say. Too, so then that would have been like the, the mandate, like the foundation of Israel, because I think that happened in like forty eight was like the official date. Oh, okay. What happened? That, like, the Jews were moved and, like, the nation of Israel was, oh. was created, leading to uh, what we're seeing today in the what news, we're seeing you know? today, yeah. The Germans want to stay ahead of the Allies. They're worried they're getting too close again, so... Enough <sighs> now it's pouring rain. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, through the mud and... Yeah. Yeah, you think... Oh. Be good to one! Cigarettes and torches! What about... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, no. They're in Germany. Huh? Oh, no! Oh my god! Oh, the pilot thinks it's like a column of soldiers or. Yeah. I'm in. We make a run for it tonight. Let's do Calm it. Calm down yeah. before they put a bullet in your head. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's okay. That's the one that was all. That's the one that was all hyped up. Yeah. You think, yeah, a few of them could duck out without even being noticed, right? Yeah. Because there's less guards and stuff. Take yeah. advantage of the confusion while we still can. Yeah. Over that wall. All right, who wants to go first? Yeah, just go. Make sure nobody's watching. Oh, careful, Bucky. Yeah. Think you to do something or get spotted. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't you? Fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, dude. no, he's fighting with a, with a guard. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn it. Ah. Uh. Order your man to release Major Regan. Now. Or we're just gonna come raining down good. on you. There's way more of us than you, yeah. so be careful. Yeah. Okay. Okay, none of them got shot anyway. He was they were too far away, I guess. Mm-hmm. Where are they gonna go? Yeah. And they don't have guns or anything. Mm-hmm. Oh buddy. What I... okay. That's Shadow Facts. Yeah, <laughs> he's hurt. Let's go, boys. Oh no, I guess they're gonna leave him, eh? Can't really come riding in on a white horse, I guess. Well, and I can't carry all three of them. Yeah, true. <gasps> oh no! Oh, <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh! It's a kid! Naturally. Oh, god damn it! Oh. Where's, where's Buck and the other guy? 
Oh, get over there. Or sleep in there. Yeah. Fuck. Get him. Take him out. Yeah. Enemy soldiers yes. just or knock him out anyway. Oh, God. You Damn you. Fucking A brats. bunch of young ones. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. No. Yep. Get him. Yeah. He's just a kid. Shoot him in the leg or something. Yeah. You know. No, no. Yeah, sure. Good. Mm. He's going to tell whoever yeah, he can. Yeah. Damn it, though. He killed Doc. Fucking kids. Yeah. Was that his friend or the other guy? That, that was his friend there. Oh. They didn't even have any goddamn butts. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just take the knife and. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Yay. Boys. Made it tell back. them what he saw, hey? Made it back from Moscow. Yeah. That's like the second, like, miraculous What escape about the rest made. of his crew, though, that jumped, hey? Yeah. Because they jumped way before he did, so... Mm, did the Russians pick them up, too, or...? Yeah. And then from Poltava, we flew in a C-46 to... They did go through Iran. Oh! <laughs> How's Jean? Oh, yeah, he went home for a She's month. She's pregnant. Oh! I'm gonna be a father. Aww. Aww. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy for you too. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes. What? That's yours? <laughs> well, just like fatherhood, yeah. and, you know. No, all this killing we do. You know, just day in, day out. Does something to a guy. Yeah. I don't know how any of them came back. Tried to be normal. Well, most didn't. Most didn't, I know. Yeah. You know, Rosie, sometimes I wake up. Oh. I don't even recognize myself in the mirror. It reminds me of this quote I read at college from Nietzsche. He said, whoever fights monsters. We were literally just talking about this. I just read this somewhere before <laughs> we started recording. <laughs> Jesus. Because if you gaze into the abyss. It gazes back. Yeah, that's made us do some tough things. But, but we had to. The things these people are capable of. <sighs> now they got it coming. Yeah. Because, yeah, he's talking about, yeah. Ooh. What's the plan? Try and steal a car? Or? Yeah. Oh, these are Americans too, right? Oh, oh, good. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Well, that's one good thing. Yeah. Did you meet anybody else we know? Yeah. Oh, some more of the Tuskegee guys, eh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Their shiny new planes. Yeah. And... Thanks for the lift, guys. Ah. Uh... You get to come back. Crosby, they still got you at this dump. Good <laughs> Major? Rosie. Good to have you back, sir. Major, welcome back. Lemon. Bunch of men. With women, we all be in there hugging and stuff. <laughs> What's this for? What are they dropping? The Dutch are starving to death. The Allies oh. are dropping tons of food west and southwest of the Zyder Z. They're just practicing, hey? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Is it all packed up, eh? Yeah. Egan wouldn't let us ship it to your folks. Kept saying, I expect him back. You know, my my buddy's just MIA. Oh, is that Marge? Yeah. Yeah, sweetie. What do we see? That's a P-51. <gasps> oh, oh! It's the Yang! Oh! That's a P-51. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. But it... Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, uh, at least okay, take maybe out, like, they know, though, what they're doing, right? Yeah, take out, like, guard towers or, yes, you know. yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What the God hell? God damn it. Fuck you. Oh! Here they come, that's why. Yep. So they figured they'd... Kill the prisoners yeah. before they can be yeah. rescued. Oh, my All right. God. Time to make your yeah. move. Yeah. Hide somewhere, I guess, right? Yeah. Get him. Grr. Yes. Yeah, go, 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 go. Just go bum rush yep. these cocksuckers. There's 
throw them out of the tower. Yeah. He's getting oh. up there with the flag so they know, right? Or just, yeah. Burn. Yeah, somebody, we need a flag. Burn the German one at yeah. least. There it is. Okay. All right, uh. <laughs> Do your duty, men. Yep. <laughs> yep. Gotta do what you yep. gotta do. Yep. All right. This is that one scene. Here he's leaning on the pole. There you go. I always thought it was related to when Bucky, when we thought he died. Oh, yeah. But, yep, I think you're right. Yep, burn it. Rip it. Wow, what a shoddy. Eh? <laughs> Look at that. Did it, man. God damn, you boys are a sight oh, for sore eyes. Yeah, hey. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking shaking your hand. Give give me your gun yeah. and walk away. Right. The day turned around. Yes. <laughs> Can't imagine what they felt, hey? Ugh. Is he gonna get go back to the to the base and ah. there he is. Yeah. They'll be flying together? Steve bars and hey look at this. First fresh oranges we've seen in months. Probably years for the Dutch. Nice. Our crews together except for one. Yeah. A uh, hundred bucks says you can't think of a better flight engineer. Plus, <laughs> well, thought I'd get a kick out of actually flying one of these things. Yeah, you spent enough time fixing them. Yeah. I'll take a boat over here in 43 and then well, I never had a reason to fly. <laughs> <laughs> fixing planes all this time and never flew in one. Remember when he fixed that one part when yeah. they were like on the oh runway, my God, he had to yeah. like jump off? <laughs> yeah, and they are like, okay, it's our turn, come on. Our boys yeah, have come a long impressive. way. Yeah. Uh, not windmills. Are those Germans? Yeah. But they're not shooting. So I guess they did take the, the flak truce after all. Ah. Mm, he dropped just the one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be awesome, eh? Mm-hmm. Got no food coming in and... <laughs> Ah, uh, there's his orange. So cool. Oh, the Crosby truck. There's the tulip fields. Yeah, I just saw a picture yesterday of all these photographers trying to take pictures in the tulip fields. Yeah, there they are. Oh, I think they. Yeah. Many thanks. Because <laughs> uh. if I remember correctly, I think it was Canadian forces yes. that liberated the Netherlands, and our countries have been close ever since. And they grow, I think, special they, tulips every year or something yep. for the Canadian. Yeah. Clear up tower, please repeat. Tower. It is him! I was gonna say, is that his voice? You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna keep these two apart. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he, you know, he could have got killed. Band's back together. Yeah. John Egan! How are you? Very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday morning, at Churchill? 41 yeah. a.m. signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the... Well, there she is. Yeah. ...will end officially at one minute after midnight tonight, Tuesday mm. the 8th of May. 8th of May. My birthday. <laughs> and uh, our dear Channel Islands year or two from now that a lot of babies are going to be born yes yeah. <laughs> thus baby boom yes <laughs> ah jesus <laughs> time to clear up and head yeah. home twin son to a jazz club hey, he's never <laughs> too early <laughs> i hope his son watched this be so proud eh? yeah it'd be a hell of a father cross you know grandkids yeah. and yeah. Where's the dog? Did yeah. See him, hey? Meatball. Yeah. Check. Fuel transfer valves and switch. Oh. That's timey. Living a lot of good memory. Oh. So they have to fly the planes home to the States then, right? Yes. And then the, the other guys would take like boats or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, because they have to, all the other equipment and. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
I was going home. I just wish more of us were. Yeah, they lost a lot. Mm-hmm. Can't stop smiling, eh? Yeah. Like how many times they could have died and how many different situations and... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the plane. Yeah, but there's a lot of that. They had to clean up everything and... Here we go. Ah! They have real pictures, I was hoping. There we go. Here we go. Lieutenant Colonel. Wow. Steve. Uh, PhD literature. Four children. Ah. Uh, uh, wow. 30 years. Oh, nice long life he lived. Good. He deserved it. Huh. Oh. Wow. I could have for a long time, too. Yeah. Oh. 2022. Holy shit. Wow. What a long life. Hmm. A flight school. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Masters in mathematics. You wonder if a lot of them came out and said, you know what? I got to go for everything I can after what we went through, right? Uh huh. Oh, good. Teacher, too. Arlington National. Good. Rosie. Who's the real guy? Ooh. Japanese prosecute. Uh -oh. Herman Goering. Damn, dude. Yes. Oh. Well, that's good. Phyllis. Yeah, wow. He was something else, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh. 89. Yeah. So far, they're all, they all live long lives, eh? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh. Oh, here's Buck. Yeah. Wow. Korea and Vietnam. Full colonel. Jeez, these guys. They're so smart. I know. <laughs> PhDs and MBAs. And... Huh. Married Marge. Ah, oh, with his month best man. Oh, good. Oh, no. Aw. Yeah, what'd you, what'd you get up to, buddy? Hmm. You finally settled down or? Oh. Oh. Well, that's good. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh. Very together. Cried my way through the whole thing, I think. Yeah. Sad and happy. Yeah. So, what a wow. show. Like I said, just, you know, yeah. alternately crying Up and, and down smiling and, yeah, through most of this yeah. episode, you know? Yeah. It, it, and it, I know you guys always give really good uh, trivia and details on all this stuff, so yeah, looking forward to reading all that. Yeah, you always think, you know, because we've seen, you know, several World War II projects for the channel, and yeah. we always think we're ready to see, say, like, the happy stuff or just, yeah. like, the, the end of it, but we're never ready for, yeah. you know, well, and, after going through so much, you know, pain and yeah. danger and suffering and losing so many friends you know and yeah well and then like it, you know it's lovely most of them lived long lives i mean yeah. the ones they showed us but yeah unfortunately marge only, oh. only got eight years with her god damn it and then it looks like bucky died early kind 1961 yeah but, well, heart attack yeah. said so yeah you know, within, you know, 10 years, he lost his wife, yeah. his best friend, but... I wonder if they do, like, remember the Band of Brothers guys all said how they meet up every 10 years or something? They yeah. Kind of, and then when we looked online later, there was a lot of good pictures of stuff like that. So I wonder if these guys, if they're... Yeah. I would think. You, I imagine so. They would keep in touch. together at some point or something. Because, right? you know, like I said, like Macon and Jefferson, they went yeah. into teaching together. And yeah, right. Stuff like that. Yeah. So just, you know, like lovely, just, the, you know, they, they kept in touch or they were still in each other's lives, you yeah. know? Because, like, uh, like the, I think it was Shifty or someone else in Band of Brothers when they showed, like, the, you know, the, the reunions and such, like, you know, it's like the, such a unique, you know, like, bond between them all because of what yeah. they all went through. Like, their family is one thing, but, like, you know, they're, they're all, like, a family unto themselves, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because nobody else knows what you went through, right? Nobody can, nobody can know. Yeah. Even you can't, you know, come home and say it was this, it was that. They don't no. know till they're in it. You're having to kill, you know, children that are because they're on the other side and they're going to kill you. And yep, you know, in a plane with everybody shooting at you. And 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All the things, right? Because I couldn't understand that one. Yeah, seeing guys with their like their faces shredded with broken oh, glass God, or melted anything. by from bombs, and you then know. to see the concentration camp stuff and to to just be all right. And I mean, look at these guys; it's amazing. They went on to get PhDs and yeah. all these things, and I don't know how you yeah get yourself right when you come back, right? Yeah, because like Band of Brothers, they said that you know like. <laughs> You know, they said some of the guys went into, say, like, construction. You know, uh, I think it was, like, Leap got became, like, a, a taxi driver. Winter it, went and worked with... Uh, with Dixon at, at the nitration yeah. plant or whatever. So, like, you know, like, varying fields and, and yeah. stuff. But, yeah. you know, like, th- these guys, like, they're, like, wow. those, like, PhDs and teaching and <coughs> yeah, all this other stuff. It's just crazy. Yeah. And, the, you know, I would assume they should have all gotten medals and stuff. Right? I would hope. I mean, Rosie. Holy shit, what he did. We all I mean, saw that. But. Yeah, like the like first episode, pretty much we saw him and like, the, you know, his third mission, he was the only one to come back and he flew like, and you know, like in a, in a freaking like bomber. Yeah. Flew so that they could take out like planes that were trying to it take him down. He was the only down. one that, the only plane that survived that. Eh? Yeah, between that and then, and then this time, like say like, like bailing and then coming back in a much more roundabout way from, yeah. from Moscow and such. And just like him of all people seeing, seeing the camp, you know? Yeah. And that one guy I was so worried for him, the Jewish guy. Remember, he was getting he, freaked he out. Was and they kept saying, it's okay, man. It's okay. The poor guy, you know, just knowing, you know, what. Saul, is that his name is Saul? Saul, Saul, Saul Saul, yeah. yeah. Well, like he said, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, nothing. I'm just a Jew taking a walk through Nazi Germany, like at midnight. Yeah. Yeah, but no, just like it was, it was like I, I kept fearing either, let's say, Bucky would be shot by the yes. Germans or accidentally killed by her own guys or something. Yeah, that I, they were gonna. I, I kept waiting for something. They were both something. gonna make it. It was like. But then finally yeah. we, you know, like, you know, they liberated the camp, which is really fun. We finally got kind of that catharsis of, like, fighting and taking down the guards and everything. And then yeah. just seeing him, like, kind of raise the flag and, you know, with yeah, on the pole there. Good. That was good. That was so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah just... I wonder, because it's a mix of, of soldiers in there, right? Different countries. Oh, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if there's any Canadians there, too. I, I Probably, would I would right? imagine something. Because they were flying missions in, too. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and I, there was different flags like i think i saw maybe like the australian flag at one point or british yeah. and then there was like several men i think like Sikh with like turbans because they would have been say british yes, troops right yeah so from like all over yeah they would have been there yeah but nah just you know another incredible you know showcase of just like heroism and brotherhood and well and and, and that it all happened it was all real and i hope i mean we say that we hope people don't forget but they do forget and oh yeah you know a lot of i'm hoping that a lot of younger people watch us like your age Mm-hmm. Um, to realize, like, look, look what this whole generation of young people had to go through. Yeah, they they took a whole section out of civilization, a whole generation, a whole, a whole generation out to yeah. go through this and stuff. Well, and guys like like Ken the crew chief, like they said, like he was the best crew chief they had. He was like nine, nineteen years old. He was like yeah. the the head mechanic yeah. for the whole thing. Yeah, you know? I love that, that he got to go up at the end. Yeah, I finally and, got to fly, and, but on a good mission, not a. Well, we're going to take supplies or whatever yeah. with actual food supplies dropping and that the war was over it would have been utterly hilarious if he say threw up from air sickness and then crosby oh, like, yeah. jesus man get pull yourself together <laughs> yeah or yeah something. they didn't yeah crosby didn't see yeah, that again. but like you know like and him too like you know how like you know green around the gills he got with with how like much he was throwing yeah. up and he was yes. he was struggling to call out numbers and, yes. you know, and then he became like yeah. such an important figure in the in the, the yeah. squadron and that was nice to see he's got four kids and yeah. all the stuff that he got up he and to, Gene worked out and, yeah. yeah yeah just kind of seeing these guys and then i love how you know like might have happened or might have been more say for the show but like how all of our main main characters were all on the same plane at the end yes I that was, they did that, that was yeah. really lovely yeah. to see, like you know, all the because they lost so many. They lost so many. The, the last these guys to even be together again is miraculous, right? The last of like the you know the the OGs, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because yeah. kind of like you know like where we started, you know, and just like like Crosby was saying, you know, when he found out that he was going to be a father, it's like you know, how do you go back to living your life after everything they saw? Yeah. yeah. And I just find it so interesting how like Rosie kind of like despite everything he saw that that only reaffirmed his resolve like he yes. never really broke down no like and he was the one being the rock for crosby yeah was the, that just shows shows like the strength of his character yes yeah how he could you know keep going after seeing what he saw yeah, no kidding and being a jewish person too not you know just whatever nationality mm. you are seeing that but to be yeah. in 
and the stuff on the walls and that. And oh, yeah. Well, and, and let's say, like, the historical, say, like, ramifications, because, like, you can almost say World War II was a simply a continuation of World War One. Yeah. It was just, like, a 20-year gap, you yeah. know, just because yeah. of, like, lingering lingering resentments and, and whatnot. Yeah. And then also that still holds true today. I mean, you know, like, bloodiest conflict in human history. But just with, the, like, the geopolitics of it, because I'm pretty sure I heard that that, that sort of the Polish man that... Uh, Ro- Rosie was talking to say, say yeah, Palestine, Palestine just because yeah. like you know like yeah. most of the Jews in Europe like they like you know with the mandate in Palestine like the nation of Israel was created yeah pushing out the out the native Palestinians and, and oh, it's like yeah. you know the, the Jews finally had a homeland but then it was just you know led to all this other stuff you know and like today we're yeah. seeing kind of the effect of that with with all the stuff the going result. on with Gaza yeah. yeah and also I thought it was you know um seeing the the planes dropping in the like the the crates Supply. and the, the food yeah. you know seeing the people kind of crowd around that because just last week um uh, you know uh, the u.s was dropping aid in gaza yeah and people yeah. running uh, off of the beaches you know to get like to the get crates food of food and, and medical supplies and and here we are still and like, here we are just yeah yeah and then just you know like when when rosie says stuff like you know these guys have it coming you know they need to be taken down and yeah, yeah. and it's like we we forget you know just like how how like evil how kind of institutionalized the nazis were and you know mm. the dangers especially in you know certain places in the world today yeah. where that sort of thing can happen again you know yeah, yeah. and it's- that there's there's people in the world that are that are nazi supporters never mind nothing to do with palestine or israel oh, or any of that yeah. stuff but other than that right yep homegrown that you know there's still yeah, yeah yeah i mean america even here in canada you know and yeah. holocaust deniers and all i i, I just i can't even mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's human nature to to reinforce your preconceived notions rather than admit that you might be wrong oh, and yeah, change true. your own point of view. Isn't that true? You know, yes. cuz we saw that all through the pandemic with with stuff like anti-vaxxers and everything. Yeah. It's like the people like that would rather re- go out and find evidence to support what they think yeah. Yeah. rather than read what all they the, see and, all of and the evidence and then make opinion. the decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like very similar yeah. kind of like modes of thinking you know that led to world war ii that led to the yeah. final solution you know and very similar like today in in say like right-wing groups and politicians mm-hmm. and people out mm-hmm. for their own interests you know because really yeah. hitler could talk the talk all day long but in the end he was just a power-hungry despot who yes. just wanted to rule the world yeah exactly and then just yeah all those people underneath him that are following his orders and stuff yeah, like and where was he at the end hey where was he at the end? Hiding in his bunker. Hiding in his bunker. Just like, you know, high as fuck on cocaine yeah. and opium, you know, and finally just killed himself when the consequences of his actions caught up with him. Yeah, yeah. Like a coward, you know, always does. Yeah. And then, like I say, just with, you know, like America and Russia for like, for the time being, like, you know, it's like America and Russia hate each other, but it's like, yeah. at the moment there was someone worse. And then just, there, that's just it. Somebody's worse than us. So we need to team up. And yeah. yeah. And then like with, with Russia, cause like when, when the Russians, like after they sort of turned back the Germans and started moving into Europe, like part of it was like, you know, like war against Germany, but also Stalin kind of used that in order to say like conquer or uh, like take control of like, you know, like Poland and Ukraine mm. and Eastern Europe to set up buffer zones with America and, and yeah. the allies. And then yeah. that, you know, segues directly into the Cold War because then, you know, like like that leads into like the Berlin Wall, mm. East Germany, West mm-hmm. Germany, and all these things. And then, you know, it's like uh, at because really when World War Two began, Hitler and Stalin they made a pact with each other. They carved up Poland uh, for each other's interests, uh, and it was only when Hitler invaded Russia out of his just psychotic ambitions yeah. that, that Stalin turned on him. Well, yeah. So it was convenient minute, for the yeah. Allies to partner with him. Uh, yeah. So it's like you know, like a token evil teammate, you know. So yeah. it's just like just like eat like I say today we're still feeling like the you know the after effects of World War Two. Oh you yeah. Know. But Ripple, it ripples through. Yeah, yeah, all of it. Yeah. yeah. But now, just like you know, as usual, you know, like from Tom Hanks and Spielberg, incredible oh, yes. job, like you yeah. know, like with telling the, their story, picking the let's say yeah. like the source material of like you know the books of mm-hmm. like Crosby and and other and they and they follow and... it right, like a lot of movies, right? Well, they took all this you know liberty yeah. and dramatic liberty, but for the most part, you guys that know that have really good history and on this stuff or mm-hmm. know the history, you've been telling us that they 
pretty much sticking to the to what happened, except sometimes they, you they, know, they one of our guys will be they condense somewhere that things. they weren't at the time, but it you know yeah because like the when, same when, thing happened to them just somewhere else. Maybe, like like know. when Bucky was with that group that was yeah. all like murdered in the the oh, one town, yeah. like that actually happened. But and he was like around that time either like in prison or yeah. about to be brought there. They just kind of combined those yeah. plots. Or yeah. when when Bubbles died, mm -hmm. he he died like I think it was like say like six months after right. most of the others had, but they just sort of like combined it just for like, tell like the story because really tell those it, stories it, yeah. it, it, it's the same result everyone Absolutely. dies within a short time yes. span yeah they just merged it into yeah. the one mission but it, and it's to tell the story these these men's stories right yeah, yeah. the things that they did and yeah yeah but you know austin butler and everyone oh, did yeah, just did such austin. an incredible job and yeah. and um, austin in particular like he did this right after doing elvis i know right? he spent like two years of his life immersing he said he had like a that. week off in between and finishing Tom, Elvis and starting this one, so he really and, had a hard time trying to drop in the Elvis. Stuff. And Tom, H and you know, as I've seen interviews where like Tom Hanks was the one who kind of talked him into doing yeah, he this did. as a way to like like decompress, De yeah, decompress. Uh, he said yeah, as, exactly uh, to like remain sane, you know, and yeah, and like right, Elvis, yeah, either right after that or same time, you know, he played Fade Rautha and Dune. He's oh, yeah. going to be in that Bike Riders he's movie bike with Tom yeah. Hardy. He's been a busy guy. Back to yeah. back projects. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, he just did such an incredible job. Like, like Callum Turner, he was awesome, right? Like, As Bucky. Like their like, friendship yes. slash brotherhood was yeah. like the core of the show for yeah. me. Yeah. You know, um, that's what made seeing Buck alive again. Well, it was the core a, of the show for everybody. Such a powerful yeah. moment. Yeah. Because, like, you know, those two guys were like, yeah. it's like Sam and Frodo. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You, that's you, true. You, yeah. You can't yeah, imagine them apart. Yeah. And then just like when. When Buck was saying uh, before, like the the escape, he's like, you know, I'm not. What was it like? I'm not going here without you. And then yeah. same, like they're not. You know, yeah, they're yeah. ride or die with each other. And the you know, mm -hmm. Bucky was his best man and yeah. stuff like that. You know, just an incredible story about an incredible group of people mm. portrayed by incredible actors. Yeah. Um, and and we know there's so many more that you know absolutely. stories were absolutely incredible. A lot of our Canadians and mm -hmm. you know other merit this they don't get their stories told unfortunately. But yeah, I hope a lot of those guys you know wrote books and stuff to to mm -hmm. have it down right. Yeah, because this one was written by Crosby, wasn't it? I believe or, so, yeah. or at least it was one of the. Because I thought it said based on a book by a different name, but Crosby yeah. was at least the. I'm pretty sure Crosby's book was, or his memoir was like one of the like source materials. And then that they, they let used. him be the narrator. Because oh, okay, with like true, with yeah. Band of Brothers, yeah. they did like like Winters, I think, wrote a book, and then um, the I can't remember the but like the guy who wrote the book on, on yeah. the Easy Company. Yeah. And then with like the Pacific, it was it was like Lucky and then uh, Eugene. Mm, right. They had both written, them books written books, yeah, that they based it on. So yeah. the, you know they definitely choose the good like like mm -hmm. direct original source material, yes. yeah, for yeah. the for these shows. But yeah, but now you know it's been quite a journey that you oh, know, we we started all the way back with Band of Brothers, yeah. Uh, well, no, but before mm -hmm. that was Saving Private Saving Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. then Band of Brothers yeah. and Pacific, and now yeah. this. And we're watching more, and I I never watched any of this stuff before. It was not I didn't want to you know mm -hmm. know about it you can just kind of pretend and it'll go away right yeah but since we've been watching all these things i mean they're horrific to watch and they're you know they're very emotional and but it's it's i'm i'm fascinated yes. for lack of a better word right it's mm -hmm. it's still i want to i want to see these stories right we've got other ones coming up like 1917 is that yeah we're gonna do that at some point that, world war one yeah yeah, yeah. So there's other ones to to do still, but mm -hmm. and then there's yeah. uh, you know there's ones like we did Fury a while back, and that one's oh, a, yeah, a, yeah. more more of say a fictionalized right. ver version of events, but yeah. like the like the context you know like of let's say like mm -hmm. in that case what a tank crew went through, how they operated, how they fought, yeah. you know, or like the, yeah. the state of Germany at that point in the war type of thing. Yeah. Like this is more directly you know these people lived the these dates they they fought in these battles like biographical facts mm -hmm. and then even you know some movies which may not be as, as true to true to history they can still kind of show you like the context of the reality yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. all right masters of the air you know okay. another addition to the great you know pantheon of of stories you know that mm -hmm. spielberg and tom hanks have have brought us and yeah. you know we're just so grateful that uh, to no them and, right. and the actors yes. For, for bringing us these stories for bringing them to life you know yeah. for like you mentioned say like you know for like like I've made a habit of studying World War II history, but mm. like a lot of people my age or especially younger would maybe not be as aware of, yeah. you know, maybe, the maybe really broad happen. strokes. Like in you know, they hear stuff from grandpas and or whatever. Or in school, but they might they, teach like yes. broad stroke stuff. 
but this is this is like boots on the ground to you get know, into the I particulars mean, yeah planes in the air stuff right it's the actual yeah 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 and then you know this will obviously stay with us for a long long time you know mm -hmm. as it should you know mm -hmm. these events should be remembered so thank you very much for joining yes. us it has been Thanks, an incredible Ed. ride you know lots of tears lots of you know shouting lots of mm -hmm. smiles yeah uh we thank you for being here with us if you want to watch the full length of our reaction i'll put a link down to our patreon below make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh yeah that's all we have for you today so we will see you later thanks for joining us guys bye bye